Welcome back to Brain Buzz, the show where you ask the questions and we brainstorm the answers. And all of today we have been brainstorming answers to questions about insects. And to help us out with that even more is our Brain Buzz guest for today, Leah Fern, who is a professional insect handler and basically a full-time lover of creepy crawlies. Am I right? Most definitely. <laughs> Love the bugs. So. Love the bugs. <laughs> so who have you brought with you today? Um, today I've brought a couple of my stick insects. So I've got a goliath stick insect and I've also got some spiny leaf insects. No way. Yes. Can we hold them? I think these guys no. are pretty scared. What Definitely. do you think, Viv? So first up I've got my goliath stick insect. Now she's not fully grown. She has an exoskeleton. Who wants to hold this one? <gasps> do you um, want I'll do it. Go, Viv. Go, Just Viv. pop your hand up for me. Just like that. They like to <gasps> climb it's upwards. So sticky. What does it feel like, Viv? That's so okay. weird. <laughs> Whoa! They always climb up, so they have an exoskeleton. She's going to shed that exoskeleton um, a couple of more times before she's fully grown and she will be a beautiful green colour. No way. So yes. she's getting way bigger than this, basically. Way bigger than this. She'll actually end up something like this. Wow. So she's got a ways to go, that's definitely nice. fair to say. But let's move on to the spiny stick insects. The spiny leaf insect. Mm -hmm. As you can see, we have this one here, and they also have the exoskeleton. So, um, but I'm going to give Christopher this beautiful little one. This one is called a, a nymph, as it is only a baby. Tiny. <laughs> they hatch from an egg. And um, when they hatch from their egg, they climb up to the top of the gum tree and they eat gum leaves. And how does it feel, Christopher? Is it a bit ticklish? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I bet it is. And how long will it take for it to get from that size to the size on the leaves? Most there? of their life they are growing and um, about a year and a half wow. for, for their whole lifespan. There so. you go. What do you think this eats, Liv? People. <laughs> <laughs> maybe not Viv, maybe not people, but you know, that's all right. I'm sure it eats some delicious things. Is that right, Lee? Gum leaves, they love the gum leaves. So they're, they're great pets. Gotcha. Okay, moving yeah. on because I see some beautiful so, beetles over there. We sure do. If you guys want to pop those back onto the tree for me, I'll Good just luck. grab out my Harlequin cotton beetles. So on here, we have got this beautiful... Red and blue harlequin cotton beetle, one for you. Wow. These are less terrifying. They are. They're actually, if you go that way. Beautiful. She's got it. She's got it. Good job, um, Thank you. The red and blue one is the boy, and the orange and blue is, is the girl. The female. And how do you tell the difference? Um, red and blue is the boy. Oh, okay, so it is yep. colour based. It's colour based. Wow, I just thought so that was, you know, what they decided to put on each day. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Well, yeah. Lee, thank you so much for coming in and showing us these amazing yes. insects. Guys, do you think you'll be on the lookout for these in your garden sometime soon? Yeah. I can oh, I'm sorry. Sorry. Oh, by the way. They're, oh, oh, don't drop them, don't <laughs> frighten them. We don't want them to stink <laughs> up the studio. Thanks. Thank you so much, Lee, again. And it's time to download our next question from Brain Buzz Cloud.